Meet Insta360 Link, the AI-powered 4K webcam. Do I look professional today, guys? Well, because today I want to introduce you to guys to Insta360 Link, the AI-powered 4K, 4K resolution webcam. Insta360 Link would be great for business professionals, for you guys' business conferences, and also educators, because this, yes, the little head here, that looks a little bit like DJI Pocket 2, it can move around, so it can do AI tracking. Yes, active tracking if you want to move around and also show your whiteboard as well. And it'll be perfect for live streamers or content creators like us. So now let's open up the box and show you guys the key features. Setting up Insta360 Link really cannot be more simple. So take this little camera out. It is super cute. Then there is this long cable, rather long, definitely enough. And I'm just going to set it up to my laptop. So all I need is USB Type-C goes in here. On the other end of the cable, there is USB Type-C. And also it comes with an adapter if you have the bigger USB port. You can use the tripod with the webcam, however, you can also open it up and easily place it on top of your display, monitor, your laptop, etc. So now we're ready to start. Right now, because my face was there just to switch on the camera for YouTube, it went that way because it was tracking me. But what you can do is double click and then voila, it is back to my orientation. Hi guys, so right now you're seeing me through Insta360 Link and I am using the Link controller which can help you have full control on Insta360 Link. So the top feature that I want to share with you guys is that it has 4K resolution. So inside Insta360 Link control, I'm just going to go down, oh no, this way, <laughs> here to change the resolution. So right now I'm in 4K resolution and I'm showing you guys the 4K resolution straight from Insta360 Link. What do you guys think about the resolution? Does it look good? And also Insta360 Link, it does have half inch sensor, which is definitely more than a lot of competitors out there. So do check out what is their sensor size before you make up your purchase decision. So what I'm really going to do is actually turn off all the lights so i have some sort of daylight sort of outside this is not there's no direct sunshine here so it's a little bit dark but i want to really show you guys in sort of real life situation to see whether it's workable in indoor environment without much light although if you're having video conference and so on i'm sure you will actually end up turning on the room light but let's see so i do have you know this kind of lights that i'm gonna turn it off so I have two of them, so another one here, turn it off, and also the light switch. Ah, yes, it is rather dark. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is under no light situation. It is 5.11 p.m. today, so it is in the afternoon. It is definitely more than workable without any light but you would of course have usually room light on come on so this is what it is in a natural setting room light without no youtube light no youtube light so 4k resolution under the room light condition and another thing i want to point out is that you are listening to me with the raw audio from the camera in itself is it workable can you use the microphone inside this teeny weeny camera? If you're a streamer or an educator, whatever you are, you may want to listen to the next feature. So I have a number of years using Insta360 brands and I absolutely love its action cameras because it is amazing at tracking me. And such feature actually comes in this tiny little webcam. So if you are an educator, you want to walk around a different classroom or you're a streamer and wants to move around, your studio to show different contents to your viewers you have this AI tracking which can be initiated with the palm gesture mm, oh, don't cover your face and then it show the blue light and then it will start actually tracking me so I can actually walk around although yes my little room does have a limited space it will track you as if you have a cameraman it does have a really massive range of angle 
and if you want to stop gesture then all you need to do is palm up and then it will show blue light and then it indicates that it stopped tracked me another gesture mode that I want to show you guys starts with L so zoom in and out function very simple to use all you need to do is hold up hands like this don't cover your face and then move just slightly up and then it will keep on zooming you can see it's keep on zooming and then all I need to do to zoom out is just go a bit lower and just hold still and then it will continue to zoom out so the third and the last gesture mode that I want to share with you guys is the whiteboard function whiteboard mode and it comes with the whiteboard marker which is a reusable sticker so I don't have a whiteboard but I'm just going to stick it onto my wall so here I have the whiteboard marker placed and then all I need to do is V and then it will show the yellow light and then it will recognize the whiteboard instantly and please the lagging issue I realize whenever I have the screen recording software on which is rather old or my old laptop there is a bit of lagging issue only then however link controller doesn't have any lagging issues so don't worry about that it's just my own technology problem so the whiteboard marker all I need to do is give the V sign and then it will show the yellow light in the camera and then instantly okay, I need to get into the frame I need to get into the frame because it's already focused on the whiteboard really quick to use super handy if you are an educator so the next feature I'm excited to tell you guys is the portrait mode and yes this little camera on 3x's gimbal it can turn into the portrait mode so how can you do that it gets turned on when you are on live streaming inside the link controller where you can control so many different settings so here in the streamer mode you want to have it turned on so I'm going to turn on so to set the portrait mode on what you need to do is make sure you set the frame orientation into the vertical mode as well as have the frame set at either 50 frames per second or 60 frames per second and then switch on the OBS and inside OBS I'm in the vertical mode but to really make sure to set it up correctly because I've already done it before what you need to do inside the setting you want to go into the resolution part and then you want to set it up into the portrait mode so either at 1080p or 720p but I'm gonna go for 1080p because the resolution of course is better and you can set the frames per second into either 50 or 60 I'm just gonna have it at 60 frames per second and then voila yep you are on the vertical mode and it can all be done without having an extra tripod and it can all be done on top of the laptop so it is super duper easy and of course you can use the gesture mode such as AI tracking while streaming with your webcam you may want to do a little more than just facing your face because you might want to share some other stuff so there are a couple of modes to help you with that so I'm going to show you the desk mode so I'm going to just quickly press in the Insta3 link controller and then here yes link is awesome camera so you see here this is as if I have a camera in this direction so anybody who you want to share streaming or you want to share the screenshot it can be done so in the correct orientation for the viewer so really fantastic it also automatically zooms in as well so you can clearly see what I have written here and other than the desktop view there is another one that I want to share with you guys and it is the overhead mode so overhead mode what it does is it goes 90 degrees downwards so let's say I want to show something on the desktop like here while I'm streaming and just write something in this case inside the link control of course I can zoom in and out so that it looks more presentable better framing and so on and also I noticed that it is very good with close-ups as well also very quick to focus 
and continue to talk about the camera there is the HDR mode which would be really handy if you have a bright sort of backlight by the window and so on it is available at 1080p not at 4k resolution so to really test the HDR I'm on the window side with no lights turned on inside the room it is a bit of an extreme environment so this is at 4K resolution, which does not have HDR. And I think it's actually not too bad. I mean, who would set up laptop like this, right? And this is at 1080p mode, HDR mode. With HDR, there's no crazy exposure, so it's easier on the eyes. So now I'm back onto Link Controller, which is a free software where you can actually have full control of your Insta360 Link camera. So here there is the gimbal control. I've shown you guys the zoom in and out function, which you can also do with the gesture mode. You can actually preset any sort of level of zoom, angle, and so on by actually adding. And under the image setting, you can change the exposure, compensation value, and also change the white balance brightness etc if you want to under more setting there are gesture modes where you can turn on and off because with gesture mode if you move your hands around a lot then it will trigger some of the gesture modes by accident so you might actually want to have it turned off and for me I might want to actually change to mirror image so that you know if I'm actually putting the hands this way then it will follow my hands so that depends on the direction that you want to have whether you want it to be flipped this side or flip the other side to show you guys the compatibility right now I'm actually using zoom and using link insta360 link camera to actually do the video conference via zoom so what do you think about the quality I think it is really good much improvement from my internal desktop video if i don't use my camera insta360 link camera what it does is that it goes into the privacy mode so the camera goes right down to 90 degrees it will physically go down so it will block any angle of the camera to show anything private or scary so if you are looking to get a high quality webcam then do check out the link down below for more details on pricing and also combo packages etc and i'll come back with other interesting reviews on the latest gadgets so please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel and see you